Existential Elimination. In this video, you will learn about the Existential Elimination Rule. Existential Elimination is one of the more complex rules in natural deduction. It varies depending on what system of natural deduction you are using. In this tutorial, arbitrary constants are permitted. The rule says that if you have an existentially quantified formula, you can infer some target formula on the basis of an assumption that replaces the quantified variable in the existential formula with a constant. An example of an argument which involves existential elimination is as follows. Some frogs are green, therefore some green things are frogs. Here is our premise and conclusion. Some frogs are green, or some x, fx and gx, and some green things are frogs, for some x, gx, and fx. Now, when you have an existential formula as a premise, chances are you are going to use existential elimination. So, let's say we are going to get our conclusion by existential elimination, and select Make Assumption. The Make Assumption window will ask for the origin that is, the original existential formula on which the existential elimination is based. So let's drag the original existential formula into the Make Assumption window. It will also ask for the assumption, that is, the origin formula minus the leading existential and the existentially quantified variable replaced with a constant. In this case, we will get FA and GA as our assumption. The target for existential elimination is always identical to the result formula. That is, you are always going to have two lines with identical formulae on them. Let's drag the conclusion to the target field. Now select Make Assumption. Now we can get FA at line 3 with two conjunction elimination. GA at line 4 with two conjunction elimination, and we can get GA and FA at line 5 with 4, 3 conjunction introduction. Justify line 6 with existential introduction, now we can fill out our conclusion line 1, 2, 6, existential elimination. In addition to this basic pattern, existential elimination has a number of restrictions. First, the constant in the assumption must replace every occurrence of the corresponding variable in the origin formula. Second, the constant in the assumption for existential elimination cannot appear in any premise or undischarged assumption. Third, the constant may not appear in the result formula. So, in the example we have been looking at, we can see that these three restrictions are met. The constant we used in the assumption for existential elimination was A. First, we can see that A in the assumption replaces every occurrence of X in the origin. Second, A does not appear in any premise or previously undischarged assumption. Third, A does not appear in the result formula. These restrictions can seem a bit complicated, but you can meet them in most cases by remembering always to pick a constant that has not been used previously in the derivation, and make sure that that constant does not appear in the result formula. Why these restrictions? Well, these restrictions ensure that the constant that you use in the assumption does not refer to any particular object in the domain, but rather refers to an arbitrary object. Arbitrary objects are discussed in our companion video on universal introduction. This concludes the tutorial on existential elimination.